Welcome to a showdown between Zima OS and Casa OS, two powerful solutions for your home server or NAS needs. In this quick video, we'll break down what each one offers, compare them, and help you decide which is best for you. Let's dive in. First up, we have Casa OS. It's an open source community-driven platform built on the Docker ecosystem designed to make self-hosting simple. Casa OS isn't a full operating system. It's a user-friendly interface that sits on top of a Linux distro like Debian or Ubuntu. With its elegant dashboard, you can manage files, deploy apps from its app store, and set up a personal cloud with ease. It supports a wide range of hardware, including x86 and ARM devices like Raspberry Pi, making it super versatile. However, it does lack native RAID support and virtualization, and you will need to manage the underlying OS separately. Now we have Zima OS. This is a full-fledged Linux distribution based on Debian, built from the ground up for NAS and professional server use. It integrates Casa OS's simplicity, but adds advanced features like native RAID management, virtualization with ZVM, and one-click system updates. Zima OS is optimized for x86 hardware with UEFI, offering a seamless out-of-the-box experience. It's less flexible on ARM devices and requires more trust in its enclosed ecosystem, but it's tailored for high-performance NAS setups. So how do they stack up? Casa OS is perfect for beginners or those wanting a lightweight, flexible solution across various hardware. Zima OS shines for advanced users needing a dedicated NAS with RAID, virtualization, and streamlined updates. If you're on a budget or using ARM devices, Casa OS is your go-to. For professional-grade NAS on x86 systems, Zima OS is the winner. That's the quick rundown, guys. Check out the comparison chart below to see the key differences and let us know which one fits your needs in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips exactly like this one, and I'll see you in the next video.